Summoning. While certainly not his strongest attack, the summoning jutsu is an extremely useful one for Kakashi. Performed by signing a contract with an animal companion, this ability allows the user to call forth these creatures at will. Kakashi uses this power to summon a pack of hunting dogs, a team he uses to take down Zabuza and to find Naruto and Sasuke after their clash in part 1. Indeed, while Kakashi's use of summoning is pretty tame compared to other characters, Madara summoned the Ten Tails itself somehow, it is still useful and powerful in the right context. Fireball Jutsu An iconic jutsu in the Naruto series, this is one of the first attacks viewers are introduced to in the show and the manga. This ability comes in many forms, ranging from the small fires produced by Genin, to the huge balls of flame that Kakashi can produce. Kakashi's great fireball jutsu, which he uses during Naruto and Sakura's second bell test, is truly a sight to behold. The attack would most certainly spell the end for all but the most powerful shinobi. Lightning Clone in keeping with Kakashi's ability to copy other characters' iconic abilities, the clone jutsu is often more closely tied to Naruto himself rather than his masked sensei. However, the lightning clone is unique to Kakashi, and is a distinctly potent attack. So powerful and surprising is this jutsu that Kakashi trusted it against pain and during his now iconic fight vs his best friend Abito. It works as a sort of trap, whenever an opponent hits the clone, they get zapped with a jolt of lighting. Both powerful and sneaky, this is a truly potent attack. Water Release, Great Waterfall When this attack is first shown off in the early chapters of Naruto, it makes everything viewers and readers had seen before this point look pitiful. One of the many hundreds of jutsu that Kakashi has copied throughout his life, the giant waterfall sends Zabuza, the assassin of the hidden mist village, hurtling through the woods, taking an entire forest with him. This attack earns its place because of how epic it seemed at the time of use, outmatching anything viewers had seen before. Chidori Beast The Chidori Beast is perhaps one of the most unique jutsu in Kakashi's repertoire, and it is equally powerful to boot. Viewers and manga readers alike first saw this attack during Kakashi's ill-fated battle with Pain, and while it failed to destroy the enemy, it did good damage against him. This gets its own separate spot on the list due to its uniqueness from the standard Chidori attack, and the fact that Kakashi was so confident in its abilities that he used it against the strongest ninja he had faced at that point in his life. While it may be less versatile than other forms of the lightning blade, it is still an extremely powerful jutsu. Part 1 Sharingan Kakashi's Sharingan changes and adapts throughout the series, becoming more powerful over time. However, the abilities that the leader of Team 7 starts the story with are staggeringly powerful when compared to the mountains of other jutsu seen throughout the series. Kakashi in Part 1 can copy any jutsu and learn it instantly. He can send all but the most powerful ninja into inescapable genjutsu, torturing them for what feels like years in a matter of seconds. And to think, Kakashi's eyes would only get more powerful as the story unfolded. Chidori Chidori, the lightning blade, is the iconic attack of both Kakashi and the complex character Sasuke. Developed by the copy ninja when he attempted to create a lightning-style Rasengan, this attack proved lethal throughout the story. Kakashi can adapt his Chidori to make it as potent as he wishes, changing its reach and effects as he sees fit. While Sasuke may have perfected this jutsu as the series went on, it is still an utmost unstoppable tool for its creator. The Chidori allows Kakashi to take on the most powerful ninja. Rasengan Similarly to Chidori, Rasengan is an iconic jutsu in the Naruto series. While audiences never see Kakashi use this attack in battle, the sheer power of Naruto's signature move is almost unmatched. With the ability to end opponents in one hit, the fact that Kakashi can use both this and Chidori is truly frightening. Perhaps this attack would have made its way even further on the list of Kakashi utilized it more, but just by virtue of how strong it is, it has earned its place in this ranking. 
Kamui. With just one eye of Kamui, the signature power of Abito's eye, Kakashi instantly became almost unstoppable. With the ability to transport anything or anyone to a pocket dimension, this attack is often a trump card for Kakashi. It's so powerful that it can transport entire parts of the Ten Tails. This attack becomes even more powerful when Kakashi gets Abito's second eye, allowing him to summon a perfect Susanoo. With it, he is able to seriously damage Kagaya herself, a feat that only Naruto and Sasuke could achieve otherwise. Perfect Susanoo. This attack, achieved only when Kakashi had both of Abito's eyes, makes its user almost invincible. Some of the feats achieved by Kakashi's perfect Susanoo are truly staggering, making it the legendary shinobi's most powerful ability by some distance. Surpassing even Sasuke's Susanoo, Kakashi can send earth-shattering Kamui projectiles at his enemies with this attack, an ability that essentially guarantees victory for the copy ninja that